Good morning, may your heart and soul and mind, may every fiber of your being and every cell in your body and every at atom and atomic particle be filled with the peace and love that goes beyond all understanding. We are now moving into a new energy field, field where the higher cosmic energies are really moving in and the old and the stuck energies are being dissolved. There will be a lot of karmic return now and karmic dissolving of a lot of what happened before in the Muria, Amu and Atlantis. In a sense, these civilizations with a catalyst of a real downfall of man from the seventh state into the third. As we are now moving up into the fifth and seventh and eighth, ninth, ten, eleven, twelve dimensions, which is going to happen with the new golden age we return to earth. The challenge now is to really question. It is questioning is this the truth and the only truth? And is this the highest truth for myself? I have found all my life that when I ask, is this the truth and the truth and the only truth for myself, then that will be revealed. And it will be revealed from three separate independent sources. And it will confirm that this is the truth. But remember, the truth is always felt deep inside of you. Your soul knows the truth. Your soul is forever attached to the soul group and that is attached to the divine. And it is pure light energy and it's pure love energy. Your soul can never not be that. It is just that when we are on this planet, we forget about that. Because we are told lies and we are told things that are untruths. Don't let yourself be swayed by mass opinion. Don't let anybody else tell you what to do. Don't let anybody take you away from your truth, your integrity and your authenticity. It does not matter what anybody sees. Some people can tell you things which they see which are not true. Because this is the time when everything is dissolving. And when something is dissolving, it doesn't want to dissolve. So it will try to entice you back into that lower state of being. But we are moving into a higher state. That higher state is a consciousness where you know that you are part of everything. You can never be separate from everything because you are everything. We are now really going into claiming our sonship, our daughtership, our the divine which is sun the field. It's like the sun is, is warming us, is radiating forth. We are part and particle of that radiation. We're part and particle of that light. And the sun illuminates everything. Darkness disappears and vanishes when, when the sun is moving into. It, but it's more than that. It's an illumination from deep within. It's at radiating from deep within. It's at emerging, that becoming like the sun. When you become like the sun, then you will radiate out into the world. And you will stand in your truth and integrity because you cannot be anything else. Because as soon as you try to become something you're not, Something deep inside of you will trigger and bring you right back to the point where you stand again in your truth and authenticity. So don't let anybody sway you from that. You know, I get letters every single day from people that I have done soul readings for. And they suddenly look back at their own mirror and the, and the beautiful soul that they in truth are. That radiant light, that beauty that God created in their souls. And they get tears in their eyes, tears of inspiration, says, this is the truth of me. And I have forgotten that. So now, if you've been put into the truth of who and what your soul really is, you cannot be unauthentic anymore. You cannot live a lie. 
because you are being reconnected with the truth that you have been for all eternity and all infinity. That is the beauty of the time, that we claim our Godship, our infinite being, which is what we in truth are. But we can only do that from within. We cannot do it from without. Because as the old is dissolving, it will try to pull us back into the material, physical, the sluggish, dark energy. But we're not allowed in there anymore because we have transcended it. It's like a butterfly cannot go back to being a moth. <laughs> it's impossible. The butterfly is now flying and it's free. Why do you want to become a moth again? Why do you want to become a worm again? It doesn't figure. <laughs> if you have been transformed, you will want to be in that stage of transformation. And you want to fly, free, cosmic being, intergalactic flight. What on earth are you waiting for? The time is now. Yes. 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 The time is now. 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 Hallelujah. This is the greatest time that mankind has ever waited for. Thank you. And thank you for being here. And bless you to the heart of your being and your absolute.